hey guys welcome to product orders point okay so in this tutorial let's learn how to recover or how to get access to your server when you have lost your pem file okay so in this tutorial we are going to create a new pem file and add it into our server when we do not have a old pem file to connect to a server okay so let's begin with the tutorial okay so i have a pem file by which i can get connected to my server instance by making use of filezilla okay so what i will do is i will just delete this pem file okay so i will think that i have lost the pem file in this video tutorial okay so let's go to amazon dashboard and let me show you my instance so here is my instance that is running okay so just go inside this instance and here you can see there is a connect button so by using this you can just get connected to your server instance terminal okay so let me get connected okay so this will open a terminal that will be connected to your server terminal okay so you can see this is my server terminal okay so now i can just perform any operation such as ls minus l and many uh, ubuntu operations i can give i can just perform make directory and everything okay uh, so to recover your server to create a new pem file and add a new pem file on your server you need to edit your ssh uh, certificate okay so for that just go to cd slash cd home slash ubuntu okay so inside this path i have a folder called as ssh okay so you can just check by ls minus a okay so you can see there is a folder by name ssh okay so just go inside this folder okay and here i have a file by name uh, authorized key okay so this is the key okay so you just need to open this file in a vem editor or g editor and it any one you can make use of okay so i'll just make use of vem sudo vem authorized key okay so edit anyway okay so as you can see over here i have two files public key okay so here i need to edit or replace this key with a new key that is been generated okay so now i need to generate and add my new key public key over here okay so let's generate a new key in this folder okay so i'll just open puttygen okay so you can see this is a putty generator by which you can uh, generate a encrypted key pair value okay so click on this generate button okay so it is getting generated so you can see the key got generated let me save it in this folder okay so i will name it as new key dot pem okay so this is the pem file which i cannot read okay so i will just make one more copy of this key and save it as temp dot txt file let me open the txt file okay so you can see this is the key that i want to add on my server authorized key file okay so it's in browser yeah okay so over here i need to add okay so for that first of all i need to convert this key in a one line text okay so you can see it is in separate line so i just need to make it in one line so just copy the whole thing okay and now come back to your server now we have opened the key pair file okay so inside this insert okay so over here i will just insert it ssh slash rsa and paste it over here okay sorry i think so it did not get copied copy and paste it over okay so it is not getting copied i don't know why 
okay so now it got copied okay so now let's save this file so just press escape wq okay so you can see over here and enter okay so the file has been written okay so let me open and check if it is actually been edited or no okay so you can see i have added the file on my server okay so let's close this terminal now okay and now this is the pem file or a new key to using which i can just get connected to my server okay so let me try okay so this is my server ip address okay so ip address server username the new pem file i will just browse okay so it is saying me could not load or does not contain private key okay so it is not accepting the pem file so i'll just create a private key no okay sorry private key yes okay so new ppk file okay so let me try by using this ppk file okay so this is the ppk file okay so let me get connected okay so now you can see i have been connected to my server okay so this is how you can just recover your server and you can just add a new uh, private key on a server and get connected to your server by making use of new ppk or pem file okay so let me open you this private key which i have added uh, edited by making use of uh, my uh, amazon dashboard uh, terminal okay so just for a proof that i have added and connected to the same server okay so it is getting opened let's wait okay so you can see before i have two private keys in my server and i have added the third one by making use of my amazon dashboard terminal okay so that's all for this video tutorial hope you got the concept of how to recover a uh, server if you have lost your ppk file or pem file okay so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol orders point thank you